Hi, my name is Garrett, currently working on a martial arts combat and exploration game called Strong by 3. This is the 100th devlog of the Attila's Track series, so I'm going to kind of recap these past 100 weeks and talk about what it's going to look like going forward. I'll be honest, I didn't make any progress on the game this week, uh, so it's not going to be much about that, it's just going to be general talking. It's kind of one of these videos more so for me, um, but if you are interested, uh, stick around and let's have some fun. <laughs> one of the reasons why I started doing devlogs was to make me accountable or to hold me accountable to make games um, back in high school is when I started doing it but senior year I kind of dropped off and once I got to college I kind of wanted to start doing it again and I was watching Thin Matrix's devlogs at the time and I was really excited by those so I started to make my own so I started off with my first devlog game Breedom 7 um, where I was just getting kind of a feel for the whole devlog thing um, and you know some of them are right but um, it was my first one so so no biggie. And then I got onto Product Forgiveness where I started to experiment a little bit more. Um, I got better with the editing and, and doing different uh, script stuff. Then came Space Prevention Force where I started to experiment a lot more, having the characters actually talk and doing some more skits and stuff, which I started to enjoy that more. And now onto this current sort of style with Strong by 3 where it's more of like a documentary style, uh, heavily inspired by like the Kerbal Space Program and Elite Dangerous devlogs. And although I still do like kind of doing skits, I probably will start adding them more soon. Um, I am really liking how the devlog's turning out now. For the past 100 weeks, I really feel like I've been making progress. You know, I've been enjoying making the devlogs and making games, and I feel like I'm improving. But not so much as of recently. So now I want to make a disclaimer first. I'm by no means complaining. Um, both of the main reasons why um, I don't think my devlogs have been as good and it hasn't been the best um, thing to do, I guess, so far, um, is my own choice. Like, I chose to do the other thing, so it's not like I'm complaining about some external thing. Like, it's it's my choice. Um, so, I'm just to be clear, I'm not complaining. I'm just kind of telling it how it is. So, it's really been the past, I say, three months um, that I don't think my devlogs or my game development progress has been the best. Um, and the two main biggest reasons why that is, is because for the past three months, I've been focusing on uh, school, the new semester, as well as karate. So with school, although some things are kind of easier with the online semester, um, it definitely is one of my harder semesters, if not the hardest semester um, in terms of my curriculum. And so that has just been naturally a big um, sucker of my time. <laughs> and so, you know, I've been doing you know, a lot more of that focusing on just doing school because that's an important part um, of my life as a student um, so that's something that kind of takes um, I guess the forefront you know I'm, I still like to do devlogs I'm mean, still make sure I get devlogs out but I don't want to sacrifice school at least at least too much um, to do that and the other reason has been uh, martial arts I recently tested um, for my next belt and training for that has been a a very big time suck as well it sounds it's, I, I don't know how else to say it um and so i've been training a lot for that going back home a lot during the week to to train and go to classes um and so by that also is because i'm going to karate more that means i have less time in the week to do homework which means i'm doing more homework on the weekends which means i don't have much time to do devlogs which i normally do on devlog or on weekends um so it's kind of just like a, a cycle in that way now obviously i could like could still do it to my I guess past standard um you know I still do you know waste time or like relax and stuff which I do think is important um but because those other things mainly have taken up more time um there's just less more of my quote-unquote free time um that I've had to spend on making games and doing devlogs and so at least I feel like right now the problem is so a couple problems with devlogs um, one is that they have declined in quality. I feel like I'm not putting as much effort towards them. Um, there's not as much content in them because I haven't spent as much time actually working on the game, which means I'm sometimes forcing content or just making certain stuff or certain features just for the devlog. And I don't really like doing it that way. They also have been fairly shorter um, compared to my some of my earlier ones, which are like 10 minutes long. Um, some of them recently have been like Two, sometimes one minute long and I think shorter shorter is okay but these ones are kind of getting really short especially with like the intro and the end like taking up like half of it <laughs> um so a little too short for my liking right now and the other problem is that I feel like I've sort of like forced them out 
and like push them out and in the sense that like i i don't really spend at least recently have been spending much effort to actually like review my past ones and see what i can improve and and sort of get feedback on it um even just personally looking at it um so i feel like i've sort of stagnated with the improvement of my devlogs like i really feel like they haven't recently because i've kind of just been trying to get them out not spending as much time uh, focusing on how i can make them better and it's also just, just kind of sucked too that i haven't um spent as much time watching other people's devlogs which i really do enjoy i still try but not as much as i like to um which is not like directly related to making my own but almost something i also want to do to do more so the plan going forward is i'd still love to do devlogs like i still really want to do it i'm not going to stop doing it um, but things are going to change a little bit i'm very happy to have done weekly devlogs um, for 100 weeks in a row honestly i was really just looking at the number like i honestly like if it wasn't for the number i probably would have stopped doing weekly devlogs like 10 weeks ago maybe 15 um because of the issues i just described um but i just wanted to get to that 100 mark and then uh, change it up a bit. So instead of releasing devlogs every week, I'm now going to release them every month. And that's a big jump, um, but I think it's going to be for the better. I will then have more time to actually work on the game, and which means the devlogs will be filled with more content, and I can spend more time on the devlogs themselves, making them more quality, um, make them more entertaining, and try to experiment with stuff more and also improve them more. Also, one of the reasons why I want to do it every month now is because I'm going to be making content for my other channel. More so recently, I've been posting martial arts stuff. So for those of you um, that have watched me previously, you know I do martial arts, and I wanna get more into making content around that. Specifically on YouTube, I wanna do like short films and fight scenes and stuff like that. Um, and I wanna really experiment with that, just try to get more into the martial arts content uh, creation sphere. Because um, I got some cool ideas for that. Um, so I think the plan is I'm going to do every month for that channel as well as this one. Um, and I'll try to alternate. So like well, this devlog will go out on Sunday and then two weeks from then will be a video on the martial arts channel. And then two weeks later, another devlog um, and then keep going like that. So this isn't like a, a sad video. Like I'm not, I'm not sad about it. Like, yeah, it'd still be cool to do weekly devlogs um, and like continue to do it. Um, but I feel like a change is um, necessary. Um, I think it'll be for the better. Like it's it's supposed to be like a, it's supposed to be a happy thing, right? Um, so I want to thank everyone um, for the continued support. Um, I know I haven't always gotten to the comments um, at like right when you leave them. Sometimes like a couple weeks after. Um, I do still really appreciate um, everyone um, who watches, everyone who comments. Um, those definitely helps motivate me to keep going to 100. Um, so thank you so much for that. All right, thank you for watching. I love you forever, and I'm coming back next month.